Dr. Teitelbaum, pleasure to have you here. You uh, focus a lot on fibromyalgia, a CFS, or chronic fatigue syndrome. Can you talk about what they are, and is there a difference between the two? For most people, they're the same process by two different names. I tease okay. that if you go into a rheumatologist's office, they'll get the label fibromyalgia. If you walk out and go next door to the internist or the infectious disease doctor, you'll get the label <laughs> chronic fatigue okay. syndrome. But what these really are, are they represent an energy crisis where your body has actually blown a fuse. Okay. And just like there's hundreds of ways to blow a fuse in your body, there's hundreds of ways to trigger chronic fatigue syndrome mm -hmm. and fibromyalgia. How does, what's the most common ways people come down with this or blow that fuse, as you say? Well, very common would be after an infection. Uh, that's okay. what I had. I had post-infectious chronic fatigue syndrome that actually knocked me out of med school for a year. That's how I learned about okay. the diseases on the job training, as they say. <laughs> um, you can see any chronic stress, hormonal deficiencies, autoimmune disorders like lupus, uh, numerous other infections, nutritional deficiencies. These are some of the more common ones. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not that hard to, to figure out what's causing it, but most importantly, what you need to do to turn that person's circuit breaker back on. Mm -hmm. So if I have it, what am I feeling? What is it just that I'm tired, or is there more to it than that? Way beyond that. Okay. Um, the four key hallmarks would be tired, achy, brain fog, and can't sleep. So okay. if somebody comes in, they say, I hurt all over, or I'm exhausted, and it's been going on for months. One simple question will tell you if they have CFS or fibromyalgia. Can you get a good night's sleep? As a person says, oh my God, no, I'm lucky to get four or five hours mm -hmm. a night, you have your diagnosis. Because that fuse that you blow, called the hypothalamus, also controls sleep. And there are dozens of other symptoms too. 32 mm -hmm. pound weight gain, loss of libido, numbness, tingling, the list goes on and on. But tired, achy, brain fog, can't sleep, those are the hallmarks. So when should people be, get serious about this and, and maybe go and talk to a, a doctor about it? What, no. you know, at what stage? Well, when they're ready to get abused by the medical profession, basically. <laughs> Let, let's reframe the question. If this has lasted more than six weeks, Okay. where you have severe exhaustion, fatigue, and widespread pain, it's time to get help. Okay. The problem is that most doctors are clueless about this disease, and they say, I don't know what's wrong with you, so you're crazy. Mm. So you want to go to a holistic doctor. Better yet, there are uh, centers called fibromyalgia and fatigue centers all around the country. It's www.fibroandfatigue.com. There you can find doctors who I've trained, who know exactly how to treat this disease, Holistic Doctors in general, uh, website is holisticboard.org, not .com, but .org. Uh, they may or may not know, but they're way more likely to know than your regular doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody goes to a regular doctor. What are, what are their more common uh, therapies for this, and why don't they work? Well, the most common approach that doctors take is, hmm, you have all these symptoms that I don't understand, so you're crazy. So first thing they'll do is they'll throw Prozac at you. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't work because it's not depression. Mm -hmm. um, or they'll sit there and try to convince your family that you're crazy. And just to, to play tough love, it really gets nasty. So the standard medications, there's three fibromyalgia medications that are approved. These are like little Band-Aids. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, or fortunately, um, however you want to look at it, they're modestly effective. They can help pain a bit. Uh, interestingly, other medications, uh, Flexural study just came out a nickel's worth a day is more effective than $8 of Lyrica a day, but you're not going to hear about the Flexural. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the natural remedies in our double-blind study was shown to give 91% improvement over three mm -hmm. months. Can you talk about those a little more? What are some of the other natural therapies that people can, can search for? Absolutely, because the key, Scott, we talk about this being an energy crisis. Mm -hmm. And the key is to restore energy production. And then that circuit breaker, it's called the hypothalamus, comes back online. So the key take-home point today is, if you have chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia, treat with SHINE, S-H-I-N-E. That means treatment for sleep to get eight hours of sleep a night, hormonal support, thyroid, adrenal, bioidentical hormones. Even if the tests are normal, the tests will miss most people with hormonal deficiencies. Mm. Infections, candida being a key one, but numerous other infections. Nutritional support, which a uh, good vitamin powder, I like the energy revitalization system. Uh, a nutrient called ribose. Uh, we recently finished a study of 257 people with chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia um, at 53 different health centers. That one nutrient, ribose, increased energy an average, average of 61% of three weeks. So that's found under Corvalin 
and then the E is exercise as able. But there's simple ways for people to get the information and to figure out exactly what they need, because it's, it's different from person to person. Sure. Shine is the overall. But one of the things I did, I, I do see patients, I do consultations by phone or in person if people want to come to Hawaii, but not everybody can do that. So we have actually a computerized doctor. You can go online at, at endfatigue.com, E-N-D-F-A-T-I-G-U-E. You'll see a symptom analysis program on the homepage. It's a patented computerized physician. You enter your symptoms. You can put in your lab tests if you have them available. If not, it's okay too. Mm -hmm. It'll analyze all that, tell you exactly what's causing your chronic fatigue syndrome and fibro, and tailor a treatment protocol to each person's individual case. And we used to charge $400 for that, but people kept saying, I'm broke, I have no money, I'm crippled, I can't work. And we mm -hmm. decided we made the program free for everybody. So, so even though the, the treatment is different for everybody, it's for everybody, it's still a, like a multi-pronged approach, isn't it? It falls under the overall shine umbrella for most people. Mm -hmm. Some people may have sleep apnea and restless leg syndrome, so you need to focus on the S. Other people may have B12 deficiencies or iron deficiency. But it, that overall approach, it's that holistic, multifaceted treatment that gets energy production uh, flying and going really high, mm -hmm. gets your body healed again. And the studies show that at two years, people continue to get better and better, despite having been able to wean off of most of the treatments. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you give them the crutches they need, they get better, they throw the crutches away, and they get back to their life.